Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back. And in this session, we are going to proceed with the discussion on MFRS 116 property plan and equipment, and that is also equivalent to IES 16 PPE property plan and equipment. In this session, uh, we are going to look at the uh, um, scenario that involves subsequent costs uh, which involve replacement of new parts or component where there was a, a situation that an, an old parts were being replaced with a new one. And the second uh, point or the second focus here is on subsequent measurement cost model. So let's look at the question now and let's see what were given. On 1st of July 2017, uh, Excellent Berhad acquired a machine. So the machine is what was acquired that is on the date of acquisition. This is a machine that was acquired and that is 1.6 million. And this is the cost of the machine on the date of acquisition that was acquired to increase the production capacity. Though the estimated useful life of the machine was 10 years. And um, depreciation was charged on monthly basis, so meaning that it will be charged according to the month of ownership in the year it was acquired and also in the year it was disposed. In December 2020, the um, production facility of the company experienced some problems with the machine, which is the machine purchased on 1st of July. And upon inspection, it was discovered that the major component, which is the component related to this machine, not all the whole machine, but just a component, and that component costs 95000 And at that time, that component uh, that has the that had the cost of 95000 had a carrying amount of 64000 and it needed replacement. So this was telling you that this involved replacement of um, components and where the old components was replaced with a new parts right and that was happening when the the if you read further the one that i use blue ink there is about the new component where the new component costs hundred and thirty thousand new component and the replacement or the replacement of the old component with the new one took place on 1st of January 2021. Bear in mind, the component that was part of a machine was purchased on 1st of July 2017. And the issue is, do you include a new component? Do you capitalize or do you expense off? You are informed here with the replacement, uh, the comp company expected an improvement in the machine operating capability so this is telling you that this actually uh, it meets the recognition criteria so meaning that if it's met the recognition criteria it will be added added to the PPE to the cost of the PPE or to the carrying amount so it will be added it will be added. Just right here, it will be added. Okay, that's the information. And you inform that with the a new component, the machine now will have a remaining useful life of eight years. So you the company adopts cost model. So why not we put this in a timeline to make things better? So let's start with the uh, old machine first. So for the old machine. Uh, let's put some information. This is the date of acquisition. So this is where you acquired the machine. I put here 1st of July 2017. And the cost of the machine was 1.6 million. We just plot this. And then you have uh, the expected useful life. I'm just taking the information from here, here, here. Okay. Expected useful life was 10 years and you are informed the depreciation is monthly basis so since no information further you assume that is let's see what whether you are informed 
depreciation on cost whatsoever so you are just informed about monthly basis charge depreciation on monthly basis so that means assuming that is on cost or straight line method so that was the information that you have now let's look at the second part of the information which is regarding the uh, new component before that you are informed that um in december 2020 which is somewhere here of course first of january this is this, this december 2020 as well so at the end of the year they discovered that the machine got problem and um, upon inspection they noticed that the machine needed immediate replacement so let's look at what are being replaced here we, we call it o component o component it is going to be replaced and if you look at the o component we have some information given the cost of the o component was 95 95,000 put 95k there and then you are informed that the carrying amount on the date which is on 1st of January 2021 was uh, 64,000 which is also the same case if you talk about 31st of December 2020 so 64 so if you can see the difference between this will give you what you call accumulated depreciation I put that AD on 1st of January 2021 where the accumulated depreciation is 31 so this must all be replaced and when you replace this means that the old component will have to be the recognized it has to be the recognized so that has to be de recognized of course it will involve some de recognition so the recognition means some journal entries right so what are the journal entry this is je1 i put je1 next you have uh, another item so this is number one so this is going to be number two number two is on the new component so i'm going to use a different color here for the new component so that it's easy for us to differentiate so i use blue because i have also used blue for the information if you notice here so the new component was 120 30,000 was purchased on first of january so we just put here new component so this is the one that will have to be recognized and this must be recognize so meaning that there is an increase in ppe but that was uh, actually replacing the old component not the whole machine but just the whole component so how much is the machine the new component hundred thirty thousand hundred thirty thousand and then you are also informed that the remaining useful life is as uh, eight years 130 eight years so we put here remaining useful life eight years and of course depreciation will have to be recalculated so when you recognize it will involve journal entry two which is to record the um, new machine or the new component so let's just do that part first for the journal entry one so we de-recognize so what we will remove is the accumulated depreciation this one so i use a different color yeah i use a different color for the for the item here so it would be debit the accumulated depreciation of the old component 31 and what are we also debiting we, we should also uh, the machine that we uh, replace is the not the whole machine but just the whole component not everything so how much at cost we take that was 95 and the different will have to be expense off and that would be written off to the statement of profit or loss and that would be how much will it it will be 60 
four. That was to uh, going to be the carry amount, right? Uh, next one is the carrying amount that will have to be removed, right? Um, and next one is the journal entry for the new component. Of course, that would be debited in terms of the PPE, but the, not the whole PPE, but this one is just for the component. So, there. so we will debit the machinery. So I put here new, new means refers to the new component, 130 and credit bank because you purchase in cash 130 okay and bear in mind you will have to calculate the depreciation for the whole machine after this and that will be done for the next session which is what we're going to do in our workings so let's look at how do we do what we were asked to do which is compute the carrying amount of the machinery on 30th of june um which is 2021 meaning that it is somewhere here so you need to know what are the carrying amount of the machinery after replacement replacement of what of components the new with replace the, the old one with the new one so let's do that so let's do that in our workings and we're going to do that here first to calculate the carrying amount first you have to uh, look at the initial cost i've mentioned the initial cost of the machine itself was 1.6 and if you take note the accumulated depreciation has to be computed for the machine so if you recall this part which i used just now yeah. from 1st of January sorry from 1st of July up until 1st of January 2021 this is three and a half years so meaning that all the accumulated depreciation here needs to be calculated because we want to find what are the carrying amount on that date 1st of January 2021 for the machine as a whole so you can use this information here 10 years 1.6 million so and it was also monthly basis so if you notice um in the year end or 30th of june 2021 from 1st of july until 30th of june um um 1st of july uh, 2021 that was three and a half years three and a half years so let's look at what we have done here so accumulated depreciation would be 1.6 million the cost of the machine divided by the year, by the estimated useful life and times with the number of years and this is representing what you have uh, as i mentioned from 1st of july 2020 yeah, the date of purchase up until the date of uh, 1st of july 2017 until 1st of july 2021 okay right so that is going to be first july twenty seventeen until first january twenty 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 one okay so that gives you 560,000 and this will give you the carrying amount of the machine. Now let us look at what are the items that we will replace. Remember the old machine. So earlier you have been informed that the carrying value of the old component based on the information here, it was nine, uh, was uh, somewhere here 64,000. So that must be removed or de-recognized. So when you do that, you will have to deduct from the carrying amount of the machine as a whole. And now you are replacing it with a new one. So the new component that you just bought will now be added. So reduce with the carrying value of the old component, add up with the 
costs of the new component and this will give you the carrying value after the replacement as at 1st of January 2021. And you are not asked to calculate on this date. You are asked to calculate on 30th of June. So to do that, you need to go and uh, include the depreciation because carrying amount at the beginning of the year was 1st of January, but after a year, you will have to go and calculate depreciation. And that was not even a year. This is monthly basis after just half year. So the depreciation will use the remaining useful life here. The one that we have been given, this one, this remaining useful life. So we will have to go and calculate depreciation. And this depreciation should be based on the new carrying amount, which is after the replacement of new component. Right. So that will give you the, the, the information. Even there will give you the answer. And that was 69125. And with that, you have your carrying amount as at 30th of June, 1036875. So you are done with the first part of it. And if you look at the second requirement, yeah, prepare journal entries. Before that, that let us just recall what MFRS 116 prescribed on replacement of parts or component. So uh, under the standards, it stipulates that the carrying amount of the replaced part is taken out, which is the old component, must be taken out and de-recognized on disposal. So here it is being de-recognized because of the, uh, uh, the situation that um, they, they experienced some problem with the machinery and it needed replacement. Right. So therefore, uh, even if the replaced part was not depreciated separately, the new replacement, which is the new component or new parts, may be used as an indication for a carrying amount of the replaced part. And here is added to the carrying amount, like what we did here in our answer. So we add the, the new component to the carrying amount. Yeah, but we remove the carrying value of the old component. Right. Next, and then um, if if it met the recognition criteria, the uh, cost of the asset can be measured reliably, and the future economic benefits are probable. Those are the two criteria for the recognition of an item as PPE. So after you have done that, you are asked to do another requirement here. Prepare the journal entries for the year ended 30th June. So meaning that whatever that starts from 1st of July, the year end is on 30th of um, June. So it is from 1st of July 2020 up until 30th of June 21. So that one whole year for the year ended. Not just on 30th of June, but for the whole financial year. So let's look at the journal. We have really prepared that in our working. So first one is I have done this much earlier, which is the journal entry on uh, which I numbered is S1, journal entry number one. This one. Uh, debit accumulated depreciation, 31,000. Debit the statement of profit or loss because this is what you write off 64,000 and you replace the machinery, the old component only being replaced. You de recognize that was 95,000 the cost. So, this is the cost of the old component replaced and the new component added was 130,000 on 1st of January 2021. So, debit machinery with the new component, new component, right? And you replace with the old, you replace new with uh, the old with the new component, it's 95,000. And the depreciation was recalculated and I've shown the workings, it was 69125. Okay, that's it. I will see you in my next video with uh, other parts of accounting for PPE. Till then, I'll see you when I will see you and have a nice day ahead. Assalamualaikum.